Hey everybody, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 You know we're all about the art and science of bass fishing, and today I want to talk a little bit about the science part of bass fishing. You know, I was reading this, this magazine. This is the In Fisherman Bass Guide. And it's, I always like to pick up these bass guides every year. They have a lot of good information. Usually it's uh, hot topics and what's going on from the art side of bass fishing, but also from the science side. And in the beginning, in uh, this section called Leading Off, Doug Stangy, who's the editor-in-chief, has a uh, interesting article here that I, I wanted to read just part of it to you because uh, I found it to be very interesting. It's called The Language of the Predator. And let me read this to you. So it says here, I'm going to make this easier just by taking my glasses off so I can see this better close up. So this is, uh, this is Doug Stang. He says here, I previously used the observations of fishery biologist Stephen Spott to write about what he called fish footprints and fingerprints. It is enlightened instruction in how important the lateral line is in getting fish to bite. He discussed how swimming movements are sensed by fish with their lateral line. Fish generate hydrodynamic vortices as they swim. These wakes slowly fade away, but not without alerting predators or prey that, that pass through this trail to the owner's location and distance. Here's an interesting part. These hydrodynamic trails can be called fish footprints. The size of a wake depends on the size of the fish, and the distinctive makeup of the wake also varies by species. So fish footprints are unique to each species and can be recognized and used by predators like bass and prey. Thus, they also are fish fingerprints. He said that trails remain distinguishable from background water movements for several minutes and may in still water remain detectable for five minutes. So using their lateral line, fish that happen through a trail of another fish can tell what fish species it is, fingerprint it, and probably even tell if it's swimming badly, as though it was injured. Likewise, predatory fish can track a school of minnows or other prey fish, sensing the school in larger context as it moves, and also track individual bait fish as they break away from the crowd. Perhaps this also explains why bass in deep water, dirty water, or in heavy cover where vision is limited often suspend motionless for long periods. Like the Starship Enterprise in space, sensors on alert, they're waiting for their lateral line sense to pick up movement of prey species, fish fry, or aquatic insects. Even without adequate vision, once the prey is moving, they can track it and strike. This, is, this suggests what's at work when bass see and then track and strike a lure like a swim bait or a crankbait. Once the fish sees something interesting, it swims steadily towards it, gets behind it, and tracks it. Once the lure or bait fish is in its zone about one to two feet in front of the fish, vision, is, vision isn't so important anymore as the lateral line sense kicks in and the fish almost goes on autopilot relying on that sense to make the final judgment about whether or not to eat the thing. It's the lateral line sense, not vision, that likely tells a fish to break off the chase and avoid the lure at the last second, or to go ahead and eat it. Well, I started thinking about that article and found it to be very interesting. Think about that. You know, I, you know when you look up in the sky and you see a, a jet go by, it leaves a contrail. And so you know that something went by. And usually you can tell, based on the size of the contrail, how long ago that, that thing went by, because the contrail will start to widen. So it seems to me that this is uh, true underwater based on what the science is telling us, that if you're a fish underwater and some fish goes swimming by, um, and, or it may have swam by and you swim up to its trail, its fingerprint, as they like to call it, you can act that that fish can use its ladder line to sense that something had gone by. And apparently it's such a, a, a sensitive organ that it could tell what the heck that, what went by, whether it was a bait fish or something else, or not even a fish at all. I just find that amazing, that that ladder line sense, we're just starting to under, we're still starting to understand just what that does in, in a fish and how a bass or, or, or a predator fish uses that lateral line to sense what's around it. So think about that the next time you're fishing with, you know, with, your, with the lures and the bait that you choose and your retrieves and your presentation and, and uh, how to make your, it makes sense because oftentimes I find for myself when the fish strike, it's when I'm trying to make my bait do something different, like it's injured or something's wrong with it. You know, you have that normal swim along and then you just pause. 
or you have that normal swim along and you speed it up real quick, that kind of thing. Oftentimes that's what triggers strikes. It's a predatory response and I suppose they could feel that with their lateral line and that might be what sometimes drives them over the edge to actually grab that bait with their mouth. Something to think about on the science side on my channel Fish Den 365 this time around. Hope you enjoyed that, uh, that piece of information. I sure thought it was interesting. Remember, keep watching the channel. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell. That'll give you a notification for when the next video is coming out. Share it with your friends, and I hope to see you on the water. We're certified bassified, and may God bless your fishing endeavors.